I spent some time with Luigi's Mansion 3. It's got a beautifully detailed world and tight gameplay, but it's Luigi's expressive animations that stood out to me the most. And it's those animations that prove what I've been saying all along. Luigi is the Jackie Chan of video games. I'm sorry for doing another one of these videos where I come out and I say this thing is exactly like this thing, but I'll stop doing it when I stop being right. And I know the next thing you're going to say is why isn't Mario the Jackie Chan of video games? He has a penchant for wall jumps, he's got a prominent nose, he loves doing stunts. And yes, Mario does all of those things, but he lacks the defining quality of Jackie Chan's action ethos. The intersection of effort, and vulnerability. The idea that yes, your hero can do things, and they can be really impressive things, but they should take visible effort, and they shouldn't always go the way the hero plans. So the first half of this formula is effort. Jackie conveys effort by making sure that his characters are competent and, you know, they can do cool stuff, but they're not superhuman. And he also is he's really careful to limit the amount of wire work or camera trickery that goes into his stunts. He's doing incredible things, but in a way that, you know, still accounts for gravity and the limitations of the human body, but like the Jackie Chan human body, like not, not this human body. You know what I'm saying. You can always tell that he's actually doing it and that it's actually really fucking hard. And it doesn't look like this. We see game animators trying to convey visible effort all the time. And Monster Hunter is a really good example of this, where the hunters carry around these massive, impossibly, stupidly huge weapons, uh, but they still sort of treat them like they have weight. They're not just flailing them around like wiffle ball bats. The hunters strain and they brace, and they use all of their skill and their strength just to get these weapons up into an attack position. Uh, again, it's not just about doing something cool, it's about doing something cool that looks like it was really hard. And for Luigi, everything is difficult. Even just dragging a trash can across this courtyard, you can see him leaning back and using every muscle in his delicious sausage-like body to just inch it along bit by bit. So the other element here is vulnerability. And these are the moments where we remember that like, yes, bad stuff can happen to our heroes. Jackie's heroes get the shit kicked out of them because Jackie thinks that we care more about heroes when it actually seems like they're in peril. In games, we see vulnerability in a lot of hit react animations. You know, the animations that play when your character takes damage and then they stagger or they go flying. But some games go further like Uncharted and The Last of Us that uses animation blending to make the characters flinch as bullets pass by without taking control away from the player. It's a cool additional layer they use there to keep selling the idea of the vulnerability without the character actually getting hurt. My favorite bit of pure vulnerability in Luigi's Mansion 3 is what happens when Luigi gets spooked by a ghost. He just completely freezes like a baby gazelle in the jaws of a lion. This is what you do when it's like 2 a.m. and your terrible cat knocks over a glass of water in the other room, but you are completely convinced that it's the hand eyeball guy from Pan's Labyrinth finally coming to finish you off. So you just sit perfectly still and you listen for the creak of your doorknob. <whistles> Luigi's like that. But the cool thing is you still have some control. If you use the flashlight controls, he'll, you know, shine the light around while trying to remain perfectly still because he just shit his overalls. It's a really cool example of using animation to sell the character without taking too much control away from the player. Now, before we move on, I do want to point out that obviously this isn't the only right way to do things. And sometimes you actually want to go for the complete opposite effect. For a character like Bayonetta, the whole point is that she's able to do incredible things with little or no effort. And for a character like Kratos, you know, the core of his identity is that his moments of vulnerability are just brief hindrances to his forward momentum. And with Mario, it's important that no matter what he's up against, no matter what the odds, even if he's in a dungeon full of lava and living skeletons, he just leaps forward with a smile on his face and a victorious fist in the air. No effort, no vulnerability. Complete sociopath. But because Nintendo has established that Luigi is a coward, he's free to be a different kind of hero. For Luigi, everything takes effort and everything has a palpable cost. And this is the core of that Jackie Chan action philosophy. It's not just effort or vulnerability, it's the constant interplay of the two. This is why one of Jackie's favorite gags is that thing where he punches somebody and it hurts his fist. You can see this in so many of Luigi's animations. Even his attack animations will have these little moments of vulnerability baked right in. But before we talk about those, we gotta make a pit stop. 
at the Guiji Garage. Here are the Guiji Garage's top five Guiji goodies. Number one, Guiji is a friend. He gives you a little thumbs up before he goes back into his backpack prison. Number two, Guiji doesn't fear death, he is death. He has his own idle animations that are a lot less nervous than Luigi's, and he walks with confidence. Number three, Guiji is wobbly. There's a satisfying little wiggle when you stop moving and he jiggles into place. Number four, Guiji is wet. You can tell by his little damp footprints. And number five, Guiji cannot be sucked. He teeters temptingly towards the vacuum, but he won't go in. Okay, so back to that intersection of effort and vulnerability. When Luigi is vacuuming up a ghost, he scrambles and panics. He's literally trying to keep his hat on as he's getting dragged around. Like he's technically draining their health bar, but he's struggling the whole time. When Luigi sucks up a loaf of bread or a watermelon or whatever and shoots it back out, it'll shatter its target, but he is subject to the laws of physics, so he'll also stumble backwards. It's action and reaction. When he uses his blast ability, you see this huge shockwave come out of his body, but you also see him tugged into the air by his own backpack, and he flails his legs like the Toronto Raptors mascot on rollerblades, which is the best gif online. And look what happens when Luigi startles a ghost with his flashbulb. It scares him too. To anybody who's ever fired a pistol or tried to take a picture of somebody's dog on the subway without realizing that your flash was still on, this is some real shit. Even the slam, his most powerful move, isn't executed from a place of stoic confidence. It doesn't look like an offensive maneuver. It looks like what I do when I have a bug on me. We see effort in his straining face and body, and we see vulnerability as he slams the ghost into the ground and goes stumbling after them. These animations are a real treat because the animators at Next Level Games are incredibly talented, but also because they're working with a hero who isn't traditionally heroic. Luigi isn't burdened with being cheery and resolute. We can see him humiliated. We can see him dump a bucket of cold water on his own head or get smacked around by a rude ghost. He's panicked, he's pathetic, he's vulnerable, but most of all, he's a hero. And now, to finally prove my point, here are some Jackie Chan fight scenes where I made it sound like it was Luigi doing the fighting. Wow! Oh, 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 oh.